Hey everyone, it's Cobra Zach, and in this video, we're gonna go through the process of replacing a Q-strip on your 18M firing module. So we've all been there, you know, your shoot went really well, uh, but you've gotten back to your house or to the office or your shop, and you've noticed that one of the Q-strips on your firing module has become damaged. Don't worry, it's a really easy fix, and we're gonna go spend about five minutes to get that completed here for you today. Now, before you go through with the, the upgrade or the repair, you're gonna want to have a few tools ready. First, you'll want an electric driver. You can use a hand driver, but uh, it is a little bit quicker to use the electric one, uh, so it's whatever you have available you'll wanna go with. If you are using an electric driver, my recommendation is to use one with a torque setting. That's going to ensure that there's no damage to the housing of your module. And the other more important piece, I guess, is the Q-strip. So these are available on our website. I'll include the link in the description of the video here today. So the first step here, we're gonna go ahead and take off the six screws from the front of your module. You're gonna go ahead and leave the bottom right screw that's just holding the face plate in. So no need to worry about that there. Okay, awesome, so we've got those out. Uh, you'll notice that on each screw there is a nylon washer, so you'll just wanna make sure that you are leaving that on. That's gonna help the module have some water resistance, okay? So once we've got those screws fully out of the module, you wanna go ahead and flip it over, and we have four screws in the back that need to be removed as well. Just make sure that you go ahead and remove any batteries uh, before completing this step. Just makes everything easy and uh, and there you go. Okay. So let's go ahead and take those four screws out. Okay, there we go. And you'll notice that this module that we're working on today, it does have a rechargeable uh, battery in it. So we'll have a, a rechargeable board in the module there as well. And uh, we'll have to go ahead and remove that. Now, if you have a module that just is using nine volts, that's okay. Um, I'll go through that step in just a moment here. So we'll go ahead and lift that back off and we'll go in ahead and unplug the battery harness from the back half of the enclosure and we'll set that aside. Now, in the event you do have a module that has nine volts, uh, it'll look a little bit different, like I said, but you just won't have that charge board and your battery harness will plug right into the main board. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and pull that right off there, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the charge board from the module, so just give it a little bit of a wiggle, pull it out. Of course, if your Q-strip is one of, you know, Q-strip number one, you probably don't need to remove that. Uh, it just makes everything a little bit easier in terms of uh, spacing there, so put that aside. So in this example, Q-strip number two is the one that's damaged, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull that straight out, and it will come right out of the module. You'll notice we've got some broken uh, tabs there, so we're gonna have to take that out. One thing, keep in mind that when you are taking the Q-strip out, there is a water seal that's there. You'll wanna make sure that this gets transferred over to the new Q-strip. So we'll go ahead and put that on. You'll put the thinnest edge of the seal away from the red circuit board, just like that, there we go. And then just as easy as taking it out, we'll go ahead and seat that back in the module. Just making sure that all the pins line up with the plug on the main board. There we go. Awesome. So there we go. So we've got the new Q-strip into the module. We're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. Uh, so first we'll go ahead and put that charge board back in place. And you wanna keep an eye out for any wires being caught. So you notice that as I'm putting this back, the, the power leads coming off the charge port of the module itself, uh, they're caught on the key switch. So we're gonna go ahead and just move those around just so nothing's being uh, caught. And then we'll go ahead and line all those plugs up and seat the charge board back down. Okay, so just keeping everything inside. There we go. Fantastic, so we'll go ahead and put the back half of the enclosure onto the module there. Just remembering to plug your battery harness back in. There we go. And once again, if you do have a module that does not have a rechargeable battery, you'll just want to plug your battery harness back into the main board here. 
There we go. So that one's good to get put back together. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the main module back together here. Just keeping in mind and making sure, as I said, that no wires are being caught and that no wires are actually underneath the battery compartment. There's a very small amount of space there and it is easy for something to get caught uh, into that area. Okay, awesome. So now that we've got everything lined up, we're gonna go ahead and put those screws back into the enclosure and uh, screw everything back down. Okay, there we go. So we've got the four on the back. We'll go ahead and put the battery back into the module, put the cover, and then we'll flip the module over and we'll put those six screws back on the front here. Awesome, so we are done. It took about five minutes of your time. It was pretty easy, I must say. But the last step, we need to make sure that all our hard work has paid off and the module turns on and everything is golden. So let's go ahead and put that key into your module. You wanna go ahead and put that into the test or arm position, doesn't matter, and turn it on. Awesome, there you go. So we've got everything booting up. We've got our power levels being checked. Uh, our LEDs are, are going through and everything's turning on as expected. So really didn't take much time and everything's back to normal. Uh, if you do have any questions throughout the upgrade process, uh, please send us an email at help at cobrafiringsystems.com or give us a call. Until the next video, happy shooting.